what's up guys so um i had a bunch of little videos um you know throughout the week when i was working on the truck pulling off the other motor um as an update video but um i just went through them guys and they really don't make no sense so i'm gonna just go ahead and make one video showing y'all everything that i did and i'll throw in some pictures and maybe a little bit of clips of uh, some of the work I did during the week but um, today today is actually Friday guys and I know <clears throat> I'm nowhere near where I wanted to be but um, I'm thinking by the end of today I should be somewhere near where I want to be um, yesterday I stayed out late probably like till like two in the morning uh, trying to finish the front suspension on the white one um, putting the red ones all, all the shocks the the uh, upper I mean the lower control of the ball joints all that was new on the other one so mine was missing all that so I decided to stay out here late and just swap it out so that's what I did last night and um, I'm gonna show y'all right now a little bit more of what what I got done uh, throughout the week. Uh, it's a mess out here, out here, guys. So y'all, uh, excuse me for that. But um, I'll show y'all what I got done so far. So as y'all can see, guys, I got the motor out. Um, all the suspension is off. Um, the dash is off. And um. I think I got like two uh, body harness inside um, that regulate the windows, power for the windows and all that stuff. I still gotta take those off, but that's pretty much it on that truck, on the red one. Um, man, this airplane, bro. So yeah guys, I have decided to go with a two wheel drive um, because I was gonna go with a four wheel drive <clears throat> but um, the harness wasn't wasn't what I expected to be. So this is pretty much, a, uh, I could say, it's a, it, oh, it, it is it is a third gen motor. Um, I should have known that off the bat, you know, I'm kind of upset about it. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I should have known off the bat with the fuel regulator. With the fuel regulator, guys. But, you know, I guess I got caught up in the moment. I didn't really check it. And um, I wanted to do an all-wheel drive. Uh, well, really not all-wheel drive, but a two-wheel drive. I mean, two-wheel two drive, four-wheel drive option thing on the truck. Because I... Um, I met a guy that had a uh, has a truck, a truck, and um, he's just optional, man. And that thing pulls, guys. But um, I already did a lot to it, and at the end, I ended up finding out, you know, the body harness is where the selection of two wheel drive, four wheel drive comes in. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna just keep it two wheel drive. So, as you can tell, guys, the dash is completely out. This is the harness I'm talking about, guys. This one right here. I need to pull this this out. It goes to there, and um, the same thing on the other side. And that's gonna be pretty much it for. Uh, or oh, in the front door, uh, into the front door, how they have seat seat uh, warmers and. Um, all that stuff. I, I want to get those things out. Not that I'm going to use them or anything. I'm probably get this little harness out. You know, just make the truck look a little bit more uh, high class, I could say. A little bit more fancy. And I'm thinking about taking the rear end out. Still not sure, guys. Um, I'm debating whether to do it or not since I think I'm going to have to put all these parts back on to this one so I can get it out of here. But, um, over here on the blazer, 
on the curb ledger, um, it's sitting like real high, maybe because they don't got no motor, no shit, but, um, I got, um, not too many things walked over, um, I got uh, the mounts, the V8 mounts swapped over. Uh, these I have bought these a while back. I got these uh, swapped over. Um, I got the whole uh, shocks. I, got, I mean the struts and all that stuff swapped over. So you know that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, guys, so that's where I'm at right now, and um, today is time to start tearing, a, tearing apart the inside of the white trailblazer and um, getting it ready for the dash and those little harnesses. Um, it is Friday, guys, and I was hoping I had all this stuff swapped over uh, by today. Um, since I got all this mesh laying around, um, I wanted to put in the motor, at least have it sitting there, but I can't do that until I switch out the steering column um, with the other one. So, you know, I'm in a, in a little bind in between, but I'm gonna get that done today for sure. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put all the stuff at. You know, over here where I stay, they're real nosy and picky. Always talking about, hey, look at this guy doing this over here, look at this guy. So I'm pretty sure everybody's already talking. Uh, I'm already sure that I'm gonna get a fine for having all this stuff um, laying around and shit. But it's all good, it's all worth it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, up upload this video for y'all. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit more pictures to go with it and um all this little stuff and um y'all let me know what y'all think y'all let me know uh, um what i should do with this red truck and you know if you're in houston uh i'm a number you know if you're in the surrounding areas if you need any kind of trailblazer part that you see off of this red truck man you can come grab it you can come have it you can do whatever you want um you know the less i gotta mess with it the better for me um, I know the fuel pump's still under there. Uh, I know that the gas lines are still there. You know, a lot of little stuff. So if you need a fender, you know, you can have it. But if you need like a door or something like that, you gotta take the whole thing because I can't have it just sitting here uh, with no door. But yeah, hit me up, guys. You know, let me know what y'all think about this video. Let me know what y'all think about the build. And uh, I'm gonna catch you on the, uh, next time. Deuces.